First up from our homepage, a new report published by the University of the West of England, UWE Bristol, says that reforms to the common fisheries policy could pave the way for legal action by campaign groups if scientific advice on fish stocks is ignored. According to the report, previous practice by European politicians of routinely allocating fish quotas over the maximum sustainable yield recommended by scientific studies will become legally untenable under the revised CFP framework. Well, that's going to put the cat amongst the pigeons. Uh, well, perhaps amongst the goldfish. But the results will most likely be the same. Prosecutions and fines. Of course... The dead fish thrown back into the sea under quota rules can rest peacefully knowing that their legal case is now going to be represented in the European courts. We reported yesterday on the EU cloak and dagger moves to secure fishing grounds off the west coast of Africa, and it's not confined just to there. Just before Christmas, I explained on this show about the EU looking to make some of the islands off the Seychelles in the Indian Ocean members of the European Union. <laughs> 